What's up, gang? What's for dinner? Tonight I am making a yummy buffalo ranch spaghetti squash with chicken. So I want to show you how easy it is to put together this recipe that I'm sure your whole family is going to love. So I'm going to start out with my Instapot. I'm just going to cook my frozen chicken really quick. Um, but you can cook your chicken any way you want. You can even grab a rotisserie chicken and shred that bad boy up. And, um, <laughs> if I get this open. Oh my gosh, thank you. Um, so really, any way you want to cook your chicken. You don't have an Instapot or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and I usually am going to add a bunch of frozen chicken breasts because I'm all about to cook once, eat all week type of thing. And so um, I won't use all of this shredded chicken for this recipe, but I'll find another way to use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook my chicken. I'm gonna put just a little bit of water in there, maybe salt, pepper, and then um, pressure cook this for about like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. And then I'm also gonna start by roasting my spaghetti squash. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, here is how you're gonna prep that spaghetti squash. So these suckers are really hard to chop into. I like to throw it in the microwave for about three minutes. Um, I'll do a minute and a half, and then there's usually like a little soft spot that will be created, and I'll pull it out and I'll just punch a hole in it just so it doesn't explode, and then I'll do another minute and a half. And it softens it just a tad, makes it a lot easier, in my opinion, to kind of cut in half. So now I'm gonna cut it in half. See how it goes just a little bit easier. It's like super dangerous people. And you should be so proud of me because I'm actually using a cutting board. I know so many people are gonna be happy about that. Uh, but basically we just wanna cut this bad boy <laughs> in half like that. And then we are going to scoop out all the seeds and I'm gonna drizzle it with just a little bit of, um, avocado oil. I'll probably just use my avocado spray and spray that on there. A little salt and pepper and then I'm going to stick it on my pan flipped upside down and I'm going to roast that for about 20 minutes and get that spaghetti squash nice and cooked. Okay, while that's cooking, I've got my spaghetti squash cooking, I've got my chicken cooking, I'm gonna cut up the veggies. So this recipe calls for um, some onion, it calls for um, some celery, and it calls for some carrots, so super simple. I'm gonna start with my onion. I always like to add a lot more veggies than maybe the recipe calls for, so bear with me. But I've got my favorite chopper, this thing makes chopping things up so much easier. It is like such a must in my kitchen. You gotta check it out. Find it on my Amazon kit. If you need that, you'll find it in my bio. Check it out. So this makes chopping onions and really anything super simple. So I'm gonna chop that up. I've got a pan because we're gonna saute these just really quickly. Okay, my spaghetti squash is all nice and cooked up. 
I let them cool because they're really hot coming out of the oven. I've got my um, veggies, the onions, the celery, and the um, carrots that I sauteed, put that in a big bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out all of these yummy spaghetti squash shreds. And let me show you how easy this is. So I just really kind of just So I've got that all mixed up and now I'm just going to kind of coat it in some red hot um, sauce and then stick it in my casserole dish and bake it out. It's going to be good. 